So I really don't make videos like this because I really don't care. But it gets to the point where niggas are like actually fucking weird. Like following you around platform to platform and making fake accounts and shit. Like it gets to the point where like it's just weird. Like it's, it's no it's, it's a couple of adjectives I can use, bruh. Obsessive being one of them, but it's it's overall weird. So let me backtrack, work my way back to the front, bro, and tell y'all niggas what's going on, bro, because it's just a lot of weird nigga behavior going on. So on my Instagram, bro, if you don't follow my Instagram, you know, check the description, probably in the pinned comment, but it should be on the screen here. Maybe, maybe not. But... You know, I, I I usually promote my videos on Instagram to mix reviews. It's like, oh my god, is he posting his shit again? Yes, and I'm, I'm pretty much not going to stop at this point. I'll have to just suck that one up. And, you know, I, I get it. Like, oh, you're a meme page, you promote your YouTube every time you post a video. Like, yeah, I kind of understand why niggas don't like that shit. But then again, I'm doing what I got to do to grow. So, I really don't care. And... Some niggas be trolling like, ah, oh, shit, you know, this shit's terrible, this shit's trash. And like, hey, it's what it is, bro. It's my hobby anyway. I'm having fun with it. So like, hold my nuts. Like, that's not really what's the weird part about it. But there was this one guy, bro. Actually, there was actually another guy, bro. It makes me think this is him again. So there was this one guy, and this was like months ago. And like, he would just say the most foul shit. Like, it, it was, like, one of those, like, okay, over a video kind of thing. Like, he would be like, oh, you monkey, you ape, you shit like that, get a job. I was like, nigga, I, I'm, I'm making much more money than you while not having a job. Like, calm down. You're literally in high school, bruh. Like, it'd be the high school niggas, bruh, who just don't be doing shit and, like, have the most to say. Like, I understand, bruh, being edgy is so cool, bruh, and you see something you don't like, grr, nigga, you gotta go attack that shit, and he would do that over and over again, bruh, so I was like, you know what, bruh, like, you're just being weird, bruh, if you said my video sucked, then understandable, bruh, I really don't care, um, but this nigga is going out of his way to just be a shitty person, so I blocked him, and he came on my main account, like, my personal Instagram, like, pictures of me are and shit, and just started DMing me, commenting just shit, so I was like, y'all niggas are weird, like, if, if my videos of me just talking about my job or just talking about events that are going on on the internet or in the world make you that mad, you might need to reevaluate your shit, bro, or you may just need to get some box. Like, I've posted a couple videos on, like, what would help you get box. Like, I posted a couple, bro. Maybe three. Maybe you go watch all three of them. All three of them three times. I don't fucking know. But it's just weird when niggas are just like, oh, you monkey, you ape, you shit like that. It's like, it doesn't really get to me, but it's weird as fuck when you see it. Because if it doesn't get to you, it's just like, oh. You're just one of them niggas. All right, bro. Hold that block real quick. So, like, I'm used to niggas being weird, following me on accounts just to talk shit because, you know, I guess their life kind of sucks and they have nothing really better to do. But it's kind of on them, bro. Like, if your life is down that bad, then sheesh, man. I really don't know what to say to you, bro. You might, you might be a lost cause before the age of 21. But... This nigga, bruh, um, this other guy, this is the one I want to talk about, um, pretty much did the same thing, bruh, just on a tamer scale. It's just like, all right, dude, like, we, we get it, like, ha ha, I don't make, I don't make good videos, and like, Jesus Christ, you, you got me, and it would be like, cool, I don't care, whatever, I have shit to do, I'll just go to the gym, and... Every time, bro, it was like, yep, all right, bro. Like, you're just going to be weird. So I blocked him. And then this nigga made a whole nother account, bro. Like, a whole nother account just to keep doing it. So I was like, all right, I'll just block that shit too. 
and I posted on um, Instagram because this month I think I got over 10,000 watch hours. Not 10,000 watch hours. It was either t- no, I almost got over 1,000 watch hours this month, which is huge. Like you need like I think 4,000 watch hours to get monetized and I got over a thousand of those this month so one thank you because that's really a blessing that niggas wants to watch my videos like that and two you know I was just making fun of niggas because they're like oh no one wants to watch your YouTube but I have a thousand watch hours this month so I'm, I'm doing pretty good for a YouTube channel that no one wants to watch and what's it called let me see let me see let me see so I was like yeah I posted that on my story and I guess this nigga still stalks my Instagram because I, I definitely blocked all his accounts like that. I used that. What's it called? Feature, bro. Block all accounts that and, and the new accounts he may make. That shit is fuego, bro. So I, I know I blocked all his accounts, bro. So he either has someone just feeding him that information, bro. Or he's just still on my tip, bro, which is weird. Because I'll, I'll just save the week for the end of the video, bro. So I can just wrap up while this shit is weird. So, um, he, he just started spamming shit on my YouTube. He's like, you're not entertaining, bro. You suck. You're this, you're that. And I'm just like, LOL, bro. Like, this is legit a hobby. Like, if I get paid, I get paid. Like, I'm having the time of my life. So, like, I don't know why you're so upset. It's like, it's like these niggas start rising up from the hall of broken dreams, bro. Like, these niggas don't have no dads, bro. Like, these niggas wish I could be their dads or something, bro. So, they just keep on coming at me, bro. Hoping I can give them a fatherly response or some shit. I don't fucking know. I don't know how these weird niggas think. But, you know, I was just like, bro, I'm just having fun. I don't really care. It's like, I would rather be your friend because I don't know why you hate me, bro. Like, I don't know what me making videos about my old job or about current events on the internet make you want to make many accounts still stalk my account maybe my personal account too bro because i know i'm a sexy young nigga and like just other shit bro just to talk shit and i really didn't care i blocked him on youtube anyway so it really doesn't matter and I look. I remember going to this nigga's Instagram, bro. Like, this is a grown ass man. Like, this is like a nigga out of high school. Like, this dude has graduated high school, and like this nigga is, this nigga is kind of ugly, bro. So like, I I see why this nigga has nothing to do. Like, this nigga just sits at home and plays video games all day. Like, this nigga doesn't do anything. Am I gonna put his picture up there? Nah, bro. I, I, I like the fact that he knows I'm talking about him, bro, than me, just get, me giving him unnecessary clout. But it's just weird as fuck that niggas who have graduated high school and need to get ready to prepare for life, prepare for college, bro, like build friendship, build more friendships. Well, maybe in his case, build his first friendship, build relationships and shit, bro. But this nigga is following me around from platform to from platform to platform. From account to account, just to talk shit, bro. Like, if that is your life, bro, that you follow niggas around to talk shit, bro, you and Box on, on a parallel line, bro. Like, if y'all niggas didn't do well in high school, parallel lines are two lines that will never touch, that will never meet. So, you and Box are legit on parallel lines. And shit bro my best advice to you brooks i know i know like you're riding me from base to tip like maybe got a ball in there too bro like i'm just deep inside of you so you know i know you're gonna see this video bro so all i'm really gonna tell you bro is you know stop being weird like legit you're being weird as fuck and two shave that shit stash bro you look like a head ass but that's the video bro Y'all niggas take it easy, but not too easy because that's when life gets hard. And stay blessed. Peace.